Good morning. For the fourth consecutive season, the EC Glass Boys Lacrosse Program found itself in the VHSL Class 4 State Final against a familiar opponent in Dominion. It was an early chess match in the Hill City between these two perennial powers. Glass draws first blood. Woody Carrington, the distance shot blocked, but senior Sammy Hamilton is there to clean it up in front. Later, Glass with the good ball movement. They get it to Carrington. This time he cranks it home. 3-3 in the second quarter, but Dominion comes alive with three straight goals themselves. Will Wasgrass with the low shot that finds the net. Titans led 6-3 at the half. Glass made a furious comeback. It's Carrington to Sorensen. The freshman converts the tough angle shot. It was 11 to 10 with 117 to play, but a furious final minute could not produce another Hilltoppers goal. Dominion prevails 11 to 10. Our defense played played their hearts out at the end of that game, and uh, we had some young guys really pick it up and, and score some big goals for us. So it was just a matter of one more shot, and, and that game's tied. So um, hats off to Dominion, outstanding group, but um, I'm proud of my boys. A lot, a lot of heart out there. Um, they left it all in the field, and that's all you can ask for as a coach. For just the second time in program history, the Appomattox County softball team found itself in the Class 2 state final facing an unbeaten Randolph Henry. We were scoreless in the fifth inning when Appomattox pitcher Courtney Lane continued to put in work in the circle, striking out the batter here. Top of the sixth with a runner on third, Macy Hargis sells one just inside the foul line past first base. Kelsey Hackett comes on home for the RBI triple and the 1-0 lead. Then Lane up the bat. She had a nice hit. This is going to take a bounce. Hargis able to come around and score, and it would hold up as Appomattox County wins the Class 2 State Softball Championship 2-0. Here's our own Brooke Leonard. Class 2 State Softball Championship was a story told in three parts for Appomattox, starting with a rally in the sixth inning, scoring two runs, then pitcher Courtney Lane throwing a perfect game and finally ending with head coach Janet Ross bringing a championship back to Appomattox for the first time since she was on the team in 1987. We knew we've been in this position. We knew um, that we needed to start getting runs as fast as possible and it just happened to be in the sixth and I'm just so proud of my girls for coming through and knocking me in. I just take it pitch by pitch like just like every other game you know everyone told me just to treat it just like an average game and then celebrate after. My defense has been backing me this entire postseason and the regular season too and they've made some outstanding plays to where you know it could have been a difference in the game so I trust them with everything I have. Head coach Janet Ross. Right now, it's like it, it feels surreal. So maybe tomorrow, when all the cameras and actions are not in your face, it'll it'll be more realistic. But I mean, it's just you can't put a word to it. The journey is not quite over for the Raiders. They return their entire roster, aside from three graduating seniors, and will definitely be a force to be reckoned with next season in Class Two in Charlotte Courthouse for the Class Two State Softball Championship. I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports. And that wasn't our only softball champion on Saturday. We had a full sweep from our teams across the area, including Auburn, who won 7-1 at Rappahannock to win back-to-back -back titles. In Class 3, Rustburg with a 1-0 win over New Kent for a championship. And in Class 4, Amherst County, a 2-0 win over Hanover in eight innings. On the baseball diamond, Essex taking on Auburn for the Class 1 title. Both teams pumped up. Ready for this one in Christiansburg. Eagles with strike first in the bottom of the first with two men on. Damian Boyd slapped this ball hard to left field. In comes Carter Keith for the 1-0 lead. Next batter, it's the pitcher, Reed Underwood. And this isn't an understatement. He takes this upstairs pitch deep to center field, off the fence. He brings in two runners, 3-0 Auburn in the lead. Essex mounted a response in the sixth for two runs, but not enough. Parker Hale on in relief in the seventh. Base is loaded for Cameron Robinson. Makes good contact, but it is caught in play. And Auburn wins back-to-back -back Class 1 state titles, their third since 2017. They have worked so hard the last month. Um, Coach Wells doing scouting reports and getting them prepared. They've taken everything he said and just eaten it up. Um, and, you know, we're the most prepared team in the state uh, because of those things. But it's hard to be more prepared than Coach Wells gets us, and it makes it a lot easier on us. It calms us down a ton.